so hey guys how are you all first of all watch this video guys in this video you can see that i have made a project and i am adding a pro effect to it it's a motion focus effect and after adding this effect when you click on export you'll see here that the option to join pro appears but i'm going to show you an easy way so you won't have to deal with all this like see what's happening now i'm exporting the compound clip with all the effects and here i didn't get any error and it exported easily so guys in today's video we are basically going to talk about how you can easily use the latest version of CapCut on your computer or laptop but if you try to export you get the join pro option so how can you fix this is there an option for this it's actually very simple very easy but it'll only seem easy to you if you understand it if you skip the video or fast forward through it you might not understand and it could also create confusion for you so guys look the very first thing you need to do you need to go to your windows settings after going into windows settings you will see a section for date and time click on this and uh, here you'll see your uh, location or region you need to change your region and the region you need to set is algeria only if you set it to algeria will capcut appear in your microsoft app because if you search for capcut in india as you know it won't show up so you need to open your microsoft app after opening it you need to type capcut without using any vpn and you'll find capcut you just need to install it from here normally you'll get the latest version 6.3 and after installing this capcut connect to a vpn Guys, once your CapCut is installed, then search for urbanvpn.com on Google Chrome. After this website opens, click on the Windows section and download the Urban VPN file from here and then install it. I always use this VPN and for CapCut, I always use the United States server on this VPN. If you're from India, then you will have to use this and guys, you need to open CapCut after connecting the VPN. First of all, you need to create a project on CapCut. Try to understand every method I explain very carefully. When you create any project in it after creating it once your final editing is done like suppose this is my project and it's now fully edited now i need to export it guys your final edit is done now the project has ended and now it needs to be exported before exporting make a duplicate of your project i'll explain in a bit why you need to make a duplicate so once your project is duplicated open the duplicate project after opening it select all the clips right click and choose render all this will render all the material in your project after that, you need to create a compound clip. So select everything using Ctrl plus A or with your mouse cursor. You have put on your helmet, select everyone and create a compound. When you right click, you'll get the option to compound. And once the compound is created, you need to select your compound click again. And after selecting, you have to right click again. Here you will get the pre-process file. Guys, I had you create a duplicate file because when you save the pre-processing file, if CapCut closes and reopens at any point after the pre-process file is created, uh, you won't be able to edit your data or project it will go missing from there. That's why I had you make one as a backup. For example, let's say after exporting, you notice there's a mistake or something missing in your video and you want to re-edit it, you won't be able to edit it, right? That's why I had you create a duplicate project. Make sure to keep that project safe. Now we'll work on this. So your pre-process file will take a little time to generate. It will generate according to your project. Once it's generated, you need to go to your C drive. After going to the C drive, you'll see a user section below. Click on users. Guys, after opening the users folder, you'll see a folder with your computer's name. It will be above public and will have the name Indust. For example, instead of Indust, it might be something else like Santosh Vikas or whatever your PC's name is. You need to open that folder and there you'll see a folder named App Data. If you don't see the app data folder, then what you need to do is next to view at the top, you'll see these three dots. Click on the three dots, go to options, then click on view here and enable the show hidden files option. So you need to click on it, check it and then click apply and OK. Now you'll be able to see the app data folder as well. So you need to open the app data folder and after that you'll see a folder named local here. You need to open the local folder. When I open the local folder, you'll see a folder named CapCut in it. You need to open the folder named CapCut and after that you'll see a folder called user data here. Open that as well and after opening it you need to open one more folder here which is project. You need to open the project folder. After that you'll see two folders here. One is .com and the other is Leviditor. Dropped. You need to open this folder and when you open it you'll see all the projects you have created in CapCut. So whichever file you have worked on, the one for which you generated the pre-process, check the time, look at the file name or match it with the project name and then you need to open that one. So basically what you have to do here is when I click on it, I will clearly see a resource option appear. This resource option is a crucial and essential selection for proceeding. I will then click on this specific resource option, which will subsequently lead me to another set of choices. 
Following that, I will then click on the combination option, which is necessary for the next stage of the process. And in this particular clip, you need to carefully play your video and meticulously check to identify precisely which pre-processing file was generated during that playback. It is very important to accurately determine the exact file that was created as a result of the pre-processing operation. Once you have successfully identified and confirmed the correct generated pre-processing file, you then need to proceed to upload this specific file into your designated media upload section. This upload is a critical and final step to ensure the file is properly integrated. You have added it to the file and after that you need to select the compound clip that you have created scroll and paste it over this then you need to confirm your user effect section here and click on ok and then replace this way your effect will remain and everything will work properly now guys if you click on export you can choose whatever you want to do with the folder here guys let me tell you an important thing uh, you should also import the idea from here along with it because if there is any error you'll be able to use it later for your backup it's up to you but here you can change the file name and other details so here i'm setting the file name and uh, other details and uh, after that i'll also select the folder where i want to export now guys let me show you the video that has been exported by playing it so look here the video has been exported in full 4k uh, with all the effects and everything so there are no issues at all uh, you can use the latest version of CapCut in this way and here as well now you can close your CapCut let me share an important tip with you guys now suppose you kept navigating and went to the C drive then to users then to app data and then to CapCut you open all sorts of different files and what did you realize it took you some time you spent some time on this but I want you not to waste your time so go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video and yes leave a lovely comment if this helped you but if it didn't work or you're facing some other issue in between then comment in the comment section in the next video we will explain everything to you from A to Z and guys, one more thing, if you find it difficult to understand this language, I mean Hindi, then you can watch our other video on the other channel where I have given the same tutorial in English. So you can watch it there. Guys, now look, what you have to do is go to the CapCut file. After going to the CapCut file, you need to go back. Going back, you need to come to the project. After clicking on project, you have to click on this OneCom LV editor on the right and then pin and access it here. You have to click on pin to access. When you click on pin to access, then you will. Let me show you by doing it. I clicked on pin to access. See here. Now this folder is pinned on your left side. Now, whenever you need to get the pre-process file, you can easily come to this folder, choose your project and extract it from here. So friends, this is beneficial for you and uh, you won't have to search around. The time you were spending before, now after coming to your project, uh, you can go to resources, then to combination. And here you will find your pre-processing file. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that whenever you go to export, that is um, the rendering process before doing that, always duplicate your project file in CapCut. Otherwise, you won't be able to redo it again. And yes, along with that, you should also take into careful consideration and implement various additional measures and practices to ensure comprehensive coverage and address all relevant aspects of the situation, thereby achieving a more thorough and effective outcome in the long run. You won't find this with anyone else yet, but I can provide it to you. If you get a thousand reactions on my video, guys, you'll get a lot of advanced features in this. While using any other app, you probably won't see all these features anywhere else for at least the next year. There's no way you'll find all this anywhere else anytime soon. So look guys, I hope the content I've made for you in this video will be really helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions related to CapCut or if you need any information about editing or anything else, then do leave a comment. And uh, guys, don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll meet you in the next video. Until then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.